Fire Signs, this is Nicola. So we'll be working on your daily read for July 12, 2019. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for July 12, 2019. All right, all right, all right. Some of you guys need to trust the, the trust. Ah. So this is a time of purifying your surroundings and offer peace into peace to situations. Trust that you're making the right decisions moving forward from situations that cause you to feel imbalanced or chaotic in, in, in inside of yourself. With that being said, check out the earth sign readings because they are needing to quiet the chaos within them. So some of you guys may have earth in your chart and this may be, you know, your message for today. Stop resisting your truth. All right. So. Let's see. I really feel like. All right. So we ain't going to say nothing. We're just going to read. Secretary Ellie's Leo. What messages do we have? What messages do we have for Secretary Ellie's Leo? Like something was crawling on me. Secretary Ellie's Leo. Something on me. This is for July 12, 2019. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is July 12, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Nine of Wands. This is about spiritual strength, overcoming, being persistent on your path. I'm trying to tell you, some of y'all got to offer peace to situations and check up the deuces. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm some of y'all gotta block somebody. Could be dealing with a Virgo here, or this can be your energy of really trying to go within yourself, really trying to identify what it is that you want. Hmm. This you're independent here, or needing to be independent. So some of you guys need to overcome a situation, and gain your independence, offer peace to the situation, know that it's not for you. Sometimes, sometimes you get, you just gotta know that hey, this just may not be my situation so with the three of cups here i feel like there could be a reconciliation i feel like there's multiple people involved here you could be in the third party um i don't see i mean it could be page of wands knight of cups you could be in the third party there could be a new person here and you're needing to overcome a situation or a move toward them you could be finding enthusiasm about moving forward check out the air sign read because this is this knight of cups was in the same position all the readings are intertwined but the Knight of Cups was in the same position in the air sign reading. And the her, the Virgo card was there as well. So let's see. Three of Cups here. Why is the Three of Cups here? You guys could be dealing with an air sign. Justice here. Yeah, could be dealing with Libra. Okay. So with the Eight of Wands here, there is some communication here. Someone's taking action here. Someone, there could be, someone could be doing what is right and blocking off a third party. And I'm only saying that because I got the two of swords with the three of cups right here. And I have the knight of swords with the justice here. So I really feel like someone is rushing in to do what is right. Someone is taking action doing what is right. Eight of wands here, maybe even communicating some truths. This is a reconciliation. Someone is doing what's right and they're coming back to someone that they deem as, I hope this isn't fun. Um, I really feel like this person makes them happy. It makes they make them feel balanced. There may be a, an air of fun with this situation. I'm, I'm hoping it isn't because Page of Wands would represent someone who's like not in the right vibration energetically um, to be offering anything, you know. So Knight of Cups here. Why is this Knight of Cups here? We got Death here with the Temperance and the Empress. There's a transformation. Someone here is trying to make an offer, or in the past. They may have made an offer. There's a balance here of emotions. Temperance, Scorpio energy could be dealing with Scorpio, could be dealing with the uh, Sagittarius or Taurus Libra here. We got Libra twice. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra trying to balance out something, trying to balance out a situation. Someone feels stuck though. So there needs to be a balance of emotions so that someone can transform a situation and really bring about what it is they desire. Someone may have to in order to transform a situation, someone may have to propose, not propose, like get on one knee, but make an offer, a proposal of some sorts to reconcile. Someone could have proposed to have a third party. And someone's like, what the fuck? Cutting that out. Like, I'm not about to do that with you. 
All right. So and they may have done this because they were lacking the confidence to actually transform a situation that they were in. Divine timing is at work here, but I really believe some of you guys, if this is like a third party or someone is coming at you in a, a sexual way and it's not how you want it, it may be a cycle that you have to overcome in order to transform your life. Trust that this situation isn't for you. So we have the Two of Swords here. Why is the Two of Swords here? I feel as though someone that is stalemate, Two of Swords, I feel as though someone is... It looks, I'm going to be real with you, it looks like they're unwilling to make a move. Yep, Ace of Swords. They're unwilling to make a move. They're unwilling to give you what it is that you desire. Ace of Swords here, I really feel as though you need to see truth of the situation. The truth is, this is a heartbreaking connection because someone is choosing to be at a stalemate. Two of Pentacles here, they're, they're balancing you. They're um, juggling you. They could have a lot of things going on. This person could be within themselves about moving forward. But two of swords, either, I'm going to put it like this, because I got six swords here with six ones. If move, if they decide to move forward, they can balance out the imbalances. But with four of swords, they're retreating within themselves because of pride. Two of swords, really, someone here is really deciding not to move. But the movement will put them on the right path. But they're deciding not to move. Um, the reason why they're deciding not to move, I really feel as though someone is in themselves. So this may be, you may need to purify yourself with this. If this person isn't making a move, gain your independence from the situation and you put yourself on the right path. Yeah. Ten of Cups here, Devil, Hermit, Eight of Pentacles here. So someone here may be in a karmic relationship. They may be contemplating moving. But they're still investing time into a connection. Star card here, judgment here. They're hoping that they can make a decision. They're in contemplation. Someone is in contemplation. They're looking for guidance. Um, but fearing emotional fulfillment, fearing, there's a lot of low vibration here. Some of you guys could be, some of you guys could be juggling two people, uh, a Virgo and a Capricorn. And... You invested some time and energy into both. So now you're searching for which would be, I guess, the right connection. The problem here is, if I'm looking at not the signs, but the energy. Devil card is low vibration. Hermit card is within. With the eight of pentacles, there needs to be work put into the situation. So someone's searching for emotional fulfillment, but fearing actually having to put work into gaining the emotional fulfillment. There needs to be a transformation of this. I really feel as though someone needs to get on the right path by being honest with themselves, removing themselves from anything that is not in the vibration that they desire. You got to do what's right. If you're communicating with multiple people or you're communi communicating with someone and you want a relationship, but you're communicating with multiple people, you're not putting yourself in the position to be in a relationship. Or if you're communicating with someone that is in a relationship, you're not putting yourself in a position to be in a relationship. You're putting yourself in a position to be a third party. The Knight of Swords Justice card is about taking action, doing the right thing and moving forward. So some of you guys are aware that you're in a third party. You've been in this space of hermit mode, trying to wait and see if this person is going to follow your lead, but you need to sever the connection and follow your own lead and blaze a path for yourself. Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So some of you guys, both of these, because if you're dealing with two people, they're both earth signs. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, Lover's Card. In order to get the, you got Six of Swords, you got to move forward. In order to get the energy that you want, in order to have happiness, you have to choose it. Lover's Card, Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So this does mean overcoming being stuck and making a choice to go toward, um, to go toward happiness. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel as though... Someone here is setting seeds. King of Pentacles, both of these seem as though they are setting seeds toward um, a commitment. Um, they're doing more research about something that is solid or doing more research about. So you may even be dealing with two people that are more focused on their pentacles and their foundation than they are on an actual love situation. So there is a need for you to offer peace to these situations and move forward. For some of you guys, this person is one person. Um, but they have these different qualities of being in low vibration and being into themselves, meaning you're dealing with a narcissist. So this is a definite indication to nine of ones, nine of pentacles. 
gain your independence and overcome the stagnation. Trust that you're moving in the right process. Some of you guys are being stuck because you're choosing to be, um, because you're trying to basically squeeze a watermelon, not a lemon. It's impossible. Unless you're a mom. I did it. But no, it, no, I didn't. My baby put the head like that fucking big. But it's, it's basically you're trying to squeeze a watermelon out of the size of a pinhole. It's not going to happen. You have to be honest with yourself. This is really about trusting yourself, trusting what you know to be true. Some of you guys are in a third party. That's the reason why there's movement being blocked. Some of you guys, someone may be not being, they're not showing you their true clothes. This is page and if you don't, this, if this is a relationship, because some of you guys, this is like a celebration here. You could be within yourself trying to figure out, you know, what is this new path for you? But uh, this is definitely a third party. With the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands, it is like, is this what I want? This is about questioning, is this what I want? Because someone here is maybe playing with you. Someone here may be being childish in their antics. And you're just needing to overcome that and be persistent with you moving in the right direction. What guidance do you have for Sagittarius, Aries, Leo? What messages? Do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo? What messages, guidance do we have for Sagittarius? Truth. Mastery. Yeah, some of you guys, you, you're, you're in the in-between. You know the truth, but this is about mastering your truth and really deciding to live in it. You got to trust your own judgment. That's all I got. Peace, y'all.